On the 10th of November 1983, Bill Gates announced the Microsoft Windows graphical user interface for PCs. Welcome to HistoryPod. The world of personal computing in the early 1980s was predominantly text-based, with command line interfaces as the standard. Bill Gates of Microsoft was inspired to develop a graphical user interface where users could interact with icons and windows on the screen after seeing a demonstration of Visicorp software for IBM PC compatible computers. He was further spurred on by Apple's GUI that had been developed for the new Macintosh. Microsoft's response was Windows 1, which featured a graphical interface with overlapping windows, drop-down menus and icons. This approach aimed to simplify the computing experience for the average user, while offering third-party developers the chance to build their own programs for the Windows system. Gates publicly announced Windows 1.0 on November 10, 1983, at a reception in New York City. During his presentation, Gates demonstrated Windows' ability to multitask, which was a significant advancement in computing at the time. He also boldly declared that the software would be ready in April 1984 and predicted that it would be running on 90% of all IBM compatible computers by the end of the year. While Windows garnered attention and excitement from the press, Gates' announcements were to prove overly optimistic as a series of development delays repeatedly pushed back the release date. The software eventually went on sale on November 20, 1985, more than two years after it had been first announced, and it struggled to gain widespread adoption. Despite its limitations, the release of Windows 1.0 set the stage for a transformative journey in the world of computing. Subsequent versions of Windows continued to refine the GUI, leading to the iconic Windows 3.0 and eventually Windows 95, which would become a staple in millions of households and businesses worldwide. <laughs>